Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do 3D rendering about interior design with Enscape. So let's get to work. This is the uh, some type of seating area in the uh, SketchUp and I download this file from the uh, 3dwarehouse.com. So I will go to the Enscape window in here and you can see the environment very simple and easy. As you can see, all the reflections, glasses, specular, and other elements in materials set before this tutorial. And we only want to talk about lighting and how to render interior job very fast and easy. So before we start this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. So as you can see, we have some type of super modern area in here. And it really looks like to some type of economical complex so I want to start my job with the alighting for this reason I'm going to fix my camera shot for example something like that convert my projection to the two-point perspective and turn on the a safe frame for my safe rendering so I want to click on it as you can see and come back to the SketchUp and press ctrl s to save my job so now I can continue my job much safe than the past so i will click on the visual setting in here and first of all i need some type of good camera position for example i can imagine maybe something like that can be really useful i want to reduce the field of view to focus on my main area these doors these shelves sitting area and lighting so some number about 70 can be really good so i want to close it Hold shift on my keyboard and right click on my cursor and change the time of the day very simple and easy as you can see we can create these type of renderings for our job and it's really wonderful so I can play with the uh, sun direction in the sky and this is the final result that we have in here or I can change the time of the day completely at the morning and do this job another time to see what is the result but as you can see the lighting near to the morning is much better or maybe something like that can be really wonderful so I will change the time of the day very fast and quick and turn the uh, time of the day near to the morning 6 a.m. for example and hold ctrl u or i to change the uh, sun direction I need this type of ray for my interior light and I can fix these problems very fast too so I can orbit a little bit move someplace like that and this is the uh, final job that I want from this render so I can change the time of the day to see some type of some flare on my camera lens so something like that one can be good and interesting so I hold this one in here and turn on the visual setting so I start my job with the exposure for some type of interior renderings you can turn off the auto exposure and re-exposure your screen manually it helps you to create some type of exact lighting for your environment and 58% is good number for this type of render another point is the depth of field I turn it on and turn off the autofocus now we have some type of blur render and image in here so I can visualize that this is some type of maybe graphical or something hard to understand so I can play with the focal point and change my focusing position on this for example ladder or I can continue this job to focus on these tabloids on the wall but I prefer to use some middle point of this room the ladder shelves and seating area so some number about 5.44 is really good and I want to reduce the depth of field to see what happened you can see the changes in your environment very simple and easy something about 18 percent can be really good and I can click on the image bar and turn on the auto contrast as you can see the changes are really low value because the lighting is good right now but about the saturation and color temperature if you want some type of warm interior rendering you can decrease the color temperature to some type of decade number for example 4600 Kelvin 
and saturation is some number about maybe 108%. So I turn off the motion blur in here because we don't create any type of animation. The lens flare is really important, but we don't have any type of sun in front of our camera lens. So how I can improve this problem? I can increase the bloom to see some type of graphical light shading and ray tracing on the flower and turn it to the 26 percent so lens flare is some number about 66 percent and now we have better result in here so wignet is not really important as a matter of fact so i can change it to the eight percent and chromatic abbreviation is not useful so i will turn it off right now in the atmosphere bar you can see outside of this door and we can see some type of fog in here if I want some more fog, I can increase the intensity and as you can see, the ray tracing activated for us and you can only see some type of God rays in your render. You can do this job in Lumion much easier than the Enscape, but in Enscape you must be come professional for doing these jobs. It completely depends on your experience and your job duration. So, I want to increase the intensity something like that for example about 26 percent and when you increase the height of the of fog you can change it on the clouds for example so when i increase it as you can see the light bubble affected by the of fog option so i want to change it to the 100 meter from the ground and the fog in the high level of the uh, area so we can cover the uh, HDRI without any type of adding HDRI on Enscape. So I want to turn off the night sky and what happened if I increase or decrease some brightness. As you can see, when I increase the sun brightness, it's a little bit too artistic and artificial and it's not really realistic. So always use some normal number about 96% shadow sharpness related to the interior lights and if you want some type of soft shadows you can decrease it but always do this job when you have some type of cloudy weather for some some type of weather like that you can increase the shadow sharpness a little bit to some type of decay number about 64 percent artificial light brightness is not useful and ambient brightness can control indoor light with the outdoor light so 64% is really wonderful for now and wind is not important so in the uh, skybox we have the uh, cloud setting related to the density variety and cyrus amount when i decrease the cyrus amount we will have some type of clear sun and ray traced lighting in here and i want to turn off the clouds completely but when you do this job, your render is completely get out of the realistic world. Because for this type of foggy weather, absolutely we have some clouds near to the 66%. And you must increase the variety to the 41 and Cyrus amount is not really big deal in here. So count rails is not really important and the output is really important element in here. So I can change it to the JPG. And click on the main bar so I think everything is done for us right now and I only want to render this job to see what happened so I can change it to the 59 in the exposure and now we have better view in here when I increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode GI calculation and denoiser will be activated for you so I don't want to change it to the ultra mode I will close it in here and I think lighting is really good in this screen so I want to click on the visual setting ultra quality and you can see the changes very fast and easy. It depends on your graphic cards. Now as you can see we have some type of darker environment in here and how I can fix it it completely depends on setting. So for now I want to change it to the high mode and play with the time of the day for example something like that. Click on the uh, visual setting auto exposure and now we have better result in there so I will close it in here and I think time for the rendering so I can control the uh, lighting for now it takes a little bit time because it's a heavy job for your graphic card sometimes so 
I think something like that can be good. So everything is done for us right now and now time for the rendering. I want to click on the screenshot button in here and click on the desktop. So the name of this file is not really important. So I only want to click on the save. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can see how we create these type of interior renders very simple and easy, much easier than your imagination. You can use the Enscape for your fast and quick renders, but if you spend more time on the Enscape, I will be guaranteed this to you. You can create some renders much realistic than the Avire or Lumion or equal with the Avire or Lumion. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and this is the final result that we have in here. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for your watching, thanks for your support and goodbye.